All righty. Hello. It says we are live. Um, and I now have chapstick on, so we're good to go. <laughs> um, that seems to be the, like, as soon as I hit the, the start button, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to put my chapstick on. Um, every time. It seems like it never fails. Um, but hello. Happy Monday. Um, happy 13th. Um, tomorrow is the first full moon. Yes, the first full moon of the month. In fact, I think it might be the only new moon of the, or full moon of the month. Um, but hello. <laughs> um, hopefully we can, yesterday was a really good session for me. Um, I was able to get, uh, 3000 words. Um, so I was, I definitely had a really, really good day yesterday. I worked digitally pretty much the entire time because um, I had already set up the majority of my planner for the week. Um, I had, um, I just had to finish a little bit of that. So I got that done within the first 20 minute sprint. And then I still had some time to um switch over to the digital, which I did, and I didn't procrastinate on that, so I feel good. Um, I have not accomplished a great deal of things um, already today, which is not, uh, like, usually Mondays are kind of like my get all of the miscellaneous things done um, type of day, but I, I guess I had a slow start. Um, hopefully, I will just be able to continue to kind of, like, do... Um, further through the week rather than having like everything clustered on a Monday and then feeling tired um, the rest of the week. So I'm hoping that that's how this week is going to go. Um, I do have a couple of things checked off for uh, today's today's to-do list, um, but I'm looking at my weekly, <laughs> my all my little sticky notes that I have created um, and um, all of the little check boxes that I would like to fill out. I'm going to try and focus on just the uh, project that I have popped open. Um, it's, I'm, I'm trying to get better about being single-minded, very much like in, in the zone for one project at a time and not trying to think about all the other things because that is how that is how the distraction works. When I have my brain on one thing, but then my brain starts to wander to the others, uh, the attention gets pulled off, and then I feel like I I don't get as much done. Um, so I'm hoping that by focusing on just one project at a time, just just one thing, one checkbox at a time, um, I'm hoping that I will be able to um, get more done. Um, like yesterday, I was able to hit the three thousand mark. Um, within those, those three hours of sprinting. So I was, I was very pleased. So I'm hoping that since today is a two hour sprint and I'm going to try and remain focused the whole time, I'm going to try and, and get at least 2k during this, uh, stream. That is, that is the goal. That is the goal, y'all. Um, I would like to get 2k during the stream. Bit ambitious for how my uh, how my recent sprints have been going, but um, we're gonna we're gonna work towards it. So that's the kind of thing that we're um, yeah. So I'm also partially like very determined to work only on this thing because I'm avoiding something else. Um, but <laughs> maybe it'll work out for me this time. Like I like I'll actually be productive. Um, anyway. Uh, yes. So how y'all, how are y'all? Um, Megan says I'm procrastinating because of anxiety again. I feel you. Um, you think you'll use this time to do some more planning? Yes. If you can get everything sort of like planned out so you can visualize things, hopefully that will help with the anxiety. Hopefully. Monique is here and says, Hey guys, hello. Um, CB says, hello, feeling loads better. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you're feeling better, but you still have to isolate. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nike says, I'm going to check on the laundry. But aside from that, you're going to be working on character profiles. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, Monique says, I need to figure out how I can make Andy and Jane's narrative voices distinct. Hmm. Okay. Um, this kind of depends on the character and their background that, and sort of like how they, how you want them to, um, how you want them to speak. Um, you can think of it as, as different people that you know, their, their patterns of speech. So are there people that you know that speak mainly without contractions? They are very, more, very much more formal language, like cannot instead of can't. Um, if they have higher vocabulary levels um, in everyday like conversation, you know, are they sprinkling words like petrichor around uh it's the smell after the rain hits the asphalt um or ground or whatever so do they sprinkle like really weird and interesting words around um or are they very short and to the point very uh like engineers um and engineers and mathematicians like the more sort of like sciencey minded people they're very much more logical in their approach to things so facts logic uh, shorter sentences that are like very much sort of like either technical or um, there's a difference in in the way that a lot of text reads. So if you are a science major or if you are a engineer or a mathematician or whatever, the language that is in the textbooks there is very shorter, very much shorter, and to the point, very, very pointed, simple, like get the point across and go. Literature, on the other hand, is much more uh, flowery, if you will, at most times, um, much more prone to leaving things to be implied or um, things that um, need to be inferred, reading between the lines, things like metaphors and um, so there's a very distinct way of writing those type of topics. And so if you have someone who is more bent towards the logical engineer and sort of like science minded people, their types of conversation are going to reflect that often versus if you have someone who is um, prone to literature, they tend to use a whole lot more words at a time. Um, quite often, you know, because we like to chat, because we like words. <laughs> so there you go. Um, that's my, my suggestion is to think about the, their characters and the personalities that you've built and their backgrounds and sort of like their, their predisposition to the types of conversations that they're going to be having. Um, CB says on the days when I do not usually attend stream, you're not doing anything other than rest. Good. Good, because your body does need to re recuperate itself. Um, Jenna writes romance, says, hello, hello, how are you? Paget is here, hi all, hello. And Heather is here, hello, welcome. Um, Monique, to Monique, Paget says, I had this issue with character voices slash character edit earlier. You assigned them each an MB, um, Myers-Briggs personality test index, yes. Um, and it helped you find their voices. So this is like the... Are you an INTJ? Um, that kind of thing. Um, Paget says, glad you're feeling better. Yes. Um, and Jenna writes from it, says, hey to Paget and Heather. Emmy says, hello, hello. Paget says, hey to Jenna. Um, CB says, the rumors are true. Miss Rona sucks. Ah, uh, yes. I, I would imagine. I have, thankfully not caught her yet. Um, I am fully satisfied if she never falls into my realm of, <laughs> um, of, of, I don't really, she's not invited. She's not invited. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Um, Laura says, hello. Hello. Jenna says, that's a good idea to Paget. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I've, I've seen 
that that is one of the sort of ways that you can get to know your characters a little bit better. Um, so yes, you might also want to, if you have experience with the strength finders, um, it's another type of assessment um, for personality type. Uh, if you have experience and have bought that little book that goes with it, I, I bought it twice. I don't know if I kept one copy or not. <laughs> whoopsies um i bought it by accidentally so uh kate says hello 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 um cool gamer says hi hello uh Padgett says oh no cb i didn't realize it was the rona so sorry yes we're hoping cb feels better soon though rider on wheels rachel hello it's been a while it has been a while but welcome back um we are hoping to get a lot done today uh laura says you look fabulous thank you appreciate it um still love how well you do I well I think I did pretty darn well today they're they're mostly mostly even <laughs> so that's one of the things but yes I um I feel like I have gotten slightly better <laughs> so thank you very much I appreciate it um Heather says hi hello um Monique says I like how you look today it's very professional looking um it is very monochromatic I have black jeans a white and black uh geometric top sort of the, um, and the white and black necklace, like a very, very color. <laughs> like yesterday was a purple theme, today is a black and white theme. Um, so yes. Uh, Padgett says it was the brain fog for me, tough and lasting. Um, new tropics were helpful. Ooh, there you go. Um, Jenna says, me too, Emmy. I'm so jealous. <laughs> um, it took a long time and it is still with the eyeliner. It's, it's still, there are some days I have to like rub it off and do it again. <laughs> so it's, it's not perfect. Uh, CB says it could be worse. I could have got it at the beginning of the Panini. The O variant isn't as lethal for most people. True. Very true. Um, Monique says, question, how does MTBI, MBTI translate to character voice, uh, personality type. And so, um, you can look up the Myers-Briggs personalities and sort of figure out which ones you, uh, vibe with the character that you had kind of in mind and then go a little bit further into sort of like their, uh, additional personality traits and, or possible, um, suggested careers because they have that kind of thing with mtbi mbti i always want to mix it up um page says you're doing a final spell check Ooh, since you did so many edits and making sure the smart curly quotes are good and then you think you will really be done you hope maybe i hope so too page says that's good cb i got it march 2020 you just legitimately thought you were losing your mind the focus then was on pulmonary and people didn't realize that the other symptoms yet. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. Um, it's the whole last three years have definitely been a learning curve with this particular virus. So Lindsay is here. Good morning. You're in crunch time yourself. Um, crunch time as in you have a deadline or crunch time as in you are munching on something to eat. I'm assuming it's a deadline. Um, Emmy says, I haven't quite decided what you're working on yet. Hmm. Do you have a coin you could flip or some, um, pens, <laughs> the colored pens you could pull out of a cup that might represent your projects. Uh, Padgett says, but still, I hope you can take care of yourself to see me and be kind to yourself as you heal. Yes. Padgett says, crunchy crunch <laughs> to Lindsay. Yes. Uh, lefty goal. Yes. I'm hoping to get 20 K, um, 20 K no 2 K. Good Lord. I, I don't think I about the one day I did a, I've, I've done 10 K, I think maybe twice in a day before. And I've done 13 K in one day. And I about lost my mind, uh, and couldn't write for like three days after that. So huh, not, those are, those are not my best days. <laughs> Let's just put, put it at that. Uh, just even says, Hey, Hey, hello. Padge says, I thought about uploading Friday, but you're so spent from several weeks going hardcore, and now you're glad you didn't. Good. Good, good. Okay, let's see. Um, Lindsay says, yes, ma'am. Yes, you intend to take care of yourself. Good. Uh, you got this, Jules? Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, your battery needs recharging, but you don't want to put on the electric 
blankets so you need to unplug that oh no <laughs> um <laughs> cell phone battery versus electric blanket which will win um just even says just serve lunch you'll swap laundry put some clothes in tidy the kitchen uh you doubt you will write this evening it's okay it's a productivity sprint as well so becca is here hello how are you hope you're doing okay um kate says i didn't get to chapter you did not get chapter 51 done and posted yesterday so you're going to continue to redraft today working on scene three of four nice becca's going to try and do all your adulting in one sprint and hopefully then work on hexphere edits for the rest excellent lovely thank you appreciate it um jenna says i need to finish a complex book for a client today and get all the voices out of your head so many characters in the end is always most stressful for you yes uh, hopefully you can get it done and then get those voices out as you said um ceos use a lot of formal language depending on what their field is they might have to use technical language as well yes uh jane's going to convey herself as being warm but she's also rational somewhat detached hiding her resentment mm, okay so you might can do some sly sort of like insults or things in the conversation to when she's not doing very very well at hiding the resentment rachel says hello hello thank you cool gamer i appreciate it Andy is very what you get is what you see is what you get he acts all tough and keeps only a handful of people close to him gotcha okay all right y'all are very chatty i'm gonna see if i haven't said hello to somebody um and then we're going to so elizabeth is here hello um oh heather's almost got all of your adulting done earlier nice um so you'll hopefully be able to get into your hb90 boot camp um work without too much lost time gotcha um Yes, how they make choices would affect how they speak. So, yeah, T versus F, definitely. Um, Christy, hello. You're suffering from post-drafting slash revision syndrome. You think you have successfully acquired a writing routine. Ooh, nice. Now you need to find a non-writing routine. Gotcha. Okay. Um, if you find one that works, let me know because I have not developed my own yet. <laughs> um, yes. Uh Non-writing is sleep or coma mode for you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Post-revision syndrome. <laughs> Love that. Yes. Um, ah, okay. Laptop battery. Gotcha. Um, okay. Uh, Jenna says, should I have cheesecake for breakfast? My answer would be yes. <laughs> My answer would definitely be yes. Uh, because you've, you've got dairy in there. Uh, you've got some carbs with the crust, right? If you put a little fruit on top, that's another um, another thing. Uh, the, does gelatin have does gelatin have protein in it? I don't know. I mean, me. It's probably not terrible <laughs> nutritional wise, <laughs> but the answer would be my answer would be yes. Okay, so the card for today is an insect um it is the grasshopper it is in the inverse position meaning upside down um so if you do not want to see a grasshopper look away in three two one grasshoppers on the screen take a leap of faith is the main message um so there's a little grasshopper with his little crown okay grasshopper is no longer on the screen so the inverse position message um, is going to be, is it hard for you to trust in the good fortune because you have been hurt in the past when you took a risk? Staying earthbound does not offer the safety you seek, for that can be found only through trusting that the universe is always with you and wants the best for you. Your intuition is guidance from the spirit, telling you to let go of your fears and leap into the abundance of and good fortune that is awaiting you. The grasshopper reminds you that the only way now is to jump forward. Can you be willing to trust the unknown, the great mystery that you can't fully understand? Even if you take the teeniest leap into in consciousness to be willing, it's a beautiful beginning. Sure, every leap forward begin, begin, bleh, brings a new challenge, but you can handle it with the spirit as your partner, trusting that this new experience will only deepen your life with magic and meaning. Take the leap. Okay. Um... <laughs> 
So I, I feel kind of called out because I mentioned earlier that I'm mainly going to be focusing on one thing today in avoidance of something else. Um, so, uh, so in other words, it's telling me that I need to uh, stop avoiding what it is I'm avoiding. Um, but yes, that is a, that is a very good card, but also like the question at the beginning, is it hard for you to trust in good fortune because you have been hurt in the past when you took a risk? That is, um, that is definitely like, are you stuck in that mindset? Uh, be aware when you are so that you can counteract that and actually make move, make forward movement and momentum. Um, yeah, the grasshopper's calling us out. Um, <laughs> and the other thing is, like, I, the, one of the things that I think stops me from the revision process, so speaking about the revision syndrome, um, is that what comes after the revision? Because I've not really, I've not done the querying yet. I've not done the searching for editors and all that kind of stuff. It's always just been a fully independent just me. And so having that unknown of like handing off your work in progress uh, takes a leap of faith. And I have not done that yet. So it's grasshoppers calling me out. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Um, <laughs> Megan is also feeling called out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like it knows what you're going through. Mm -hmm. It does that sometimes. That's one of the reasons why I have been so impressed with this deck. Because uh, it's very, very good. Um, so Jenna says me too to Megan. Uh, Monique says this card feels perfect for me starting this new draft. Um, <laughs> and says play into the unknown. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know how many of you actually have this, uh, assistant. So I am, I will do my best not to do this to you. Um, Okay, so we're talking about Enneagrams as um, an alternative to Myers-Briggs. Rachel says, yes, I got you. I get you, Jules. It took you a year till this year till finally do it all. But it's worth it. Yeah. And that's the thing is you have to have that faith that it's going to be worth it. Um, so, yes. Uh, you feel that? No idea how to even start the querying process. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just Eva says, got to take that leap. Yep. Uh, Laura says, how long do you think a guy, how long do you think a collection of short stories should be to make you feel like you've got your money's worth? Right now, yours is at 56K. Is that too long, too short? There are 93 stories in there. Ooh, 93 stories is a, is a huge value. Um, that is like, yeah, uh, Padgett says if it has like 12, I'm like, cool. But so 93 is like super impressive. Yes. Um, but if you wanted sort of one of those, there's like big numbers that you could put on the front. Um, I don't know, 95, 99 or 100 would be sort of like eye catching numbers. 93 feels kind of like odd. It's a huge number, but it's kind of odd. Um, and it is an odd number. <laughs> Pun not intended, y'all. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so you might want to think about whether or not you have um, six or seven more stories to make it that 99 or nine or 100. I don't know. Up to you. Um, but that is that is a huge value um, story wise. And 56,000 words is um, a great length. Um, if you add a couple more stories in there and you get to 60. Um, that would again be a really good stories. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. So I keep getting distracted by the chat. So while well, y'all can feel free to chat, but I need to get some work done. Okay. I need to work. <laughs> so, so I'm going to put us, I'm going to put me in, in chat timeout. Um, and I am going to set us up with a timer. Um, hello, Matthew. Hello, Eva. I can't remember if I said hello. Um, and we're going to share the screen. And we're going to use Laura's newest 
ocean timer, ocean sunset timer. Um, don't forget to stop by occasionally and give Laura a like on the timers that you prefer. Um, cause I know that I'm not the only one who uses them, but uh, yes, we are just now, I know we're at 25 minutes in. Okay. We're at 25 minutes in. we need a spread. Um, so here we go. One, save your document. If you have already been working today, if not, now's a great time to pull it up Two, make sure you have something to hydrate with. Cheers. Three, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. Make sure you're not slouching. Four, remember that if you need a break, take it. Here we go. 25 minutes Pomodoro Sprint in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right. Um, that was a brilliant sprint for me. Um, I have gotten to the halfway mark for my goal today. Um, I managed to get a thousand words in the 25 minutes, which is, <laughs> I, I have done it before, but it is definitely a rarity for me. Um, but I was definitely like doing good, doing very, very good. Um, um, I know that I'll have to fix some like quotation marks and commas and stuff though. Cause I was like, and eh, not going to backtrack that much to do it. Um, so, but I, like, I'm remembering to do my dialogue tags. So I know who's speaking. Cause that was a problem I ran into that I did with, um, like super duper fast drafting with project gray with NaNoWriMo was that I forgot to do my dialogue tag. So when I went back through, I didn't know who was speaking what when I had a conversation between three characters. So don't do that to yourself. Make sure that if you have three characters in a conversation that you have your dialogue tags properly. Cause otherwise when you're editing, you're like, who said this? <laughs> um, but yes, so I have, I have already reached my halfway goal, which is fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, so maybe, maybe if we can, uh, if we can squeeze in two, two more full sized sprints, like maybe I can get to 2,500 close to 3000. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if my fingers will hold up that long, but we're going to try. Um, but I definitely want to get at least 2000. So, um, definitely good. Okay. So, um, let's see. Um, Laura and Paget continue to talk about uh, the format for um, Laura's collection. Um, and Laura discovered that, <laughs> wait, I forgot to add my poems and holiday short stories. So you already have 102. Um, so you might need to prune. I suggested if she's planning to do more collections later that you start with like a 99 and then the next one will be a hundred more stories. And then you can do a third one that's 101. And then so you can keep increasing if you choose to do that that way. Um, Miriam says, looks like you're just in time, sort of. You are just in time. Absolutely. You can dawdle on in whenever you like. Um, and Laura says, why do I write so much, but have such a hard time getting an awful done? <laughs> um, flash and drabbles just flow. Um, maybe it's because you can, you can clearly see where the beginning, middle, and end is supposed to be in those shorter points, uh, the, the shorter formats. Maybe. Uh, Kate says, work just exploded. Oh, no. No writing for you until 6 p.m. or your sanity evaporates, whichever comes first. But happy writing to everyone else. Um, hopefully work will calm down and not continue to explode. <laughs> um, Liz says, yay. Yes, I'm super excited to have gotten to that mark already. Jenna says, I finished a lot of grading slash teacher tasks. And then finished some things for the AuthorTube writing conference while fighting tech gremlins. Oh no, don't forget to save. Um, Jenna writes, romance got 794 words. Nice. Um, you seem to get close to 800 quite often. Like somewhere in the 700 range is like one, seems to be one of your uh, sweet spots, which is really nice. Um, Rachel says, I put a sticky note on my lower screen reminding me of whose point of view I'm writing in the scene. And yes, those dialogue tags are crucial. Uh-huh. They are very much so. Um, Rachel says, 10 pages edited. Nice. You're wanting to get to 50 today, but we'll see. Hey, if you can keep that up, it'll just take you four more sprints. Uh, Elizabeth says, after grading their finals, I need to plot down their grades for the whole year. It's fairly easy since you've already done the work. You just need to finalize it in your head. Gotcha. Amy says, I picked up uh, to do some of your editing on your horror middle grade. It's probably the last edit before you share. Any free beta readers around? Um, I know that there is a Discord for horror writers. Um, you may want to message Laura 
um, on Instagram for that uh, Discord link um, if she can get that for you. Um, uh, let's see. Otherwise, uh, Laura writes horror. Um, so you may want to ask her very kindly. <laughs> um, but let's see. Um, yeah, I think probably the best pet would be that uh, the horror Discord. Um, Hannah R. Palmer also does um, horror spooky of a sort. So Megan says, I worked some on this preparation. I really want to do well on this. You're reading some how-to articles and using that to prep. Good. Um, Rachel says, I'm actually piecing together your Google Doc for book two of the series. You're going to be at the, you're going to be on a beach bum trip with the gals next week, and you want to use that time to get it ready for Camp Nano in July. Nice. Also, a beach trip with the gals sounds lovely. Sounds very lovely. Um, Elizabeth says, also having cozy time on the couch with tea and the dog curled up beside you. CB managed to get 543 words despite the Verona visiting her. Uh, Rachel says, thank you, Kate. M uh, Monique is narrowing down the Myers-Briggs uh, personality types. And Jenna says, that's the goal for you is to get somewhere in the 700 range. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, CB says, dialogue tags. <laughs> yes, Tony said, pepper snapped. Yes, yes. They are very, very essential. Um and you don't have to use them all the time. And if you have a conversation with just two people, it's not as necessary as long as we know who starts the conversation and then who are like they respond in order. Um, but if you have a third character in the conversation, it becomes more much more vital to have those tags. Yes, there's a discord for women who write horror. Yes. Yes, yes. Um, CB also made a Spotify playlist for book two. Laura hasn't found any other specifically horror writing discords yet. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. CB needs to finish your current work in progress by June 23rd. Um, which is not this Thursday, but the following Thursday. Rachel says, we make a trip yearly to get away from your normal lives. It's actually really nice to relax, then just do a bit of work, then relax more. <laughs> yes. Your beach trip isn't until next month. Sigh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, beach trips are really fun. Um, and, well, beach trips with people you want to go to the beach with. To a beach that you want to visit um, when the weather is nice. Or when um, you have some clear weather for evening beach walks instead of full under the sun. Because paleness over here. <laughs> Um, it gets burnt real easy. Um, so yeah. All right. So let's, uh, wrangle ourselves back in. We're going to, um, switch to the Aurora Borealis timer and do another 25 minutes. Don't forget that this is your self promo sprint. So if you have something you would like to promote, now is the time to do it. Um, just remember that I do not think Mama Maggie is here, nor is Devin, so we do not have our parade link. Um, <laughs> we don't have the people who usually do the parade links, so it will actually have to be self-promo. You will need to do it yourself. Um, okay, so with that in mind, don't forget to save. That's number one. Keep your words. Two, make sure you have something to hydrate with. Cheers. Three, make sure you straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, make sure that if you need a break, take a break. Here we go. 25 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go.
Alrighty, sorry I forgot to turn the volume on that uh, timer back up. So you might have heard it thunder, but it might have been really quiet for you. Um, all right, we are back. It is that was sprint number two. How do we do? Um, I did indeed reach my 2K goal, so that is two sprints with a um, thousand each. So that is. Very, very good for me. Um, it is very rare that I do that twice in a row. Um, my fingers are definitely hurting a little bit. <laughs> um, but then again, I do have the habit of like pounding the keys. Um, I grew up with a like the old style keyboards that like you actually had to press the button kind of hard. Um, and so I, I have never, despite having a laptop that has sensitive keys, I have never been able to, um, not just go like, <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm not subtle at all when I hit the keys, shall we say. Um, but I am definitely very pleased. I'm going to hit the save button again. Um, very, very pleased. Uh, yes. I am, I am pleased. Um, so I think I'm going to draw a little another box um, and see see just how well I can do by the end of this of the um, stream. So um, okay, don't forget that was the self promo sprint. So make sure that if you have a, a promo, pop that into the chat. Um, because Mama Maggie and Devin are not here today. Um, so there was, there is no official link parade from them. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Where were we? Oh, Elizabeth says I will do it right away. So I don't forget. I have a live stream on Thursdays, but it will start two hours later than usual. So 8 p.m. GMT plus one, which would mean 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, would love for you to join the birthday shenanigans. It's a birthday stream. And so there is the link to the channel. And Elizabeth writes is on Instagram as a little about books. CB has 40 stories on archive of our own under the name Pepperoni Fan 1982. And there are 32 videos on CB's YouTube channel under the handle CB394. Heather says, I've been having trouble getting into the HB90 course materials, so you're glad for the self-promo time to take your mind off of it for a bit. Mm. Um, are you trying to get into it on through through the, I think it's a Teachable account um, from when I looked last? Um or are you trying to go in through Facebook? I'm not sure. Laura says, my writing podcast is here. under, So you can find it here at the Anchor. <laughs> uh, but you can also find it pretty much everywhere that podcasts are available at this point. Uh, Laura says, it has writing tips and interviews with fellow writers. Yes, it's called Twisted Tendrils Horrific Writing Advice. Um, Heather says, I'm a freelance line editor, copy editor, and proofreader specializing in working with independent authors of speculative fiction. Let me help you make your work shine. In addition, Heather does beta and sensitivity reads. You're currently booking for this fall, and you do free sample edits. Heather says, I can be reached via DM, DM on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and public comments under the YouTube channel, Heather Dewey Patet. Here's your website, heatherdeweepetep.wordpress.com. Um, Monique has gotten your um, other main character's Myers-Briggs personality type. Um, and since you want to convey that she's a rational, strategic perfectionist, she will be an ENTJ. Mm, nice. 
Um, Emmy says self promo. My channel under the name Emmy North has vlogs and book wrap, wrap ups and a few interviews. Nice. See, we got 326 words that time. Excellent. Pound on those keys. Yes, I like. I am not. I am not gentle about it. I am very, very mean to my keys. Um, and I have thought about pulling out my old style keyboard uh, to plug into a USB port just because. But at the same time, like, I already have a second monitor. <laughs> like, I already have a second camera. I already have a second microphone. Um, I'm like, eh, do I really need to have, like, a second keyboard as well? <laughs> just feels like at that point I ought to just pull out my tower instead of having a laptop. <laughs> um, so Heather just subbed to Elizabeth. Nice. Elizabeth says, finalized some more and also Donald by queuing up YouTube videos that you want to see. Oh my, my watch later list is ridiculously long. Um, so I know that feeling. <laughs> CB says, that's how the keyboard broke on your old MacBook both times is because you pounded on the keys. Yeah. Um, Amy says, I'm just going to finish editing a chapter and we'll switch to the next activity. Nice. Um, so Matthew, my second sprint is always called a self promo sprint. So if you have something that you would like to promote, um, like your website, your blog, your social medias, etc., um, we pop that into the chat. Um, just remember that if you do not have blue wrench of power, meaning you are a moderator on the channel, you are not allowed to post direct links. So you'll have to kind of get around it by saying my Twitter is at whatever your handle is. Um, and put like spaces and things in between your, um, URL to make it not get caught <laughs> by the automated filters. Um, Elizabeth says, oh, thanks to Heather. Nice. Uh, writer on wheels. Rachel says 12 more pages. Nice. 22 pages done. 28 more to go. Fantastic. Kit. Hello. Um, you do have some books on Amazon. Ooh, is it under the name Kit Faldo or is it under a different name? So if you want to tell us your author name and a title of one of the books so we can look you up on Amazon, let us know. Um, Jenna says June 15th is the AuthorTube writing conference schedule and video day. And there's the link to where you can watch that. Excellent. Watch and look up information. Rachel says, hopefully I'll be able to make it to Elizabeth's birthday stream on Thursday. Um, Heather says, no problem. Jenna says, uh, can I message you about AuthorTube writing conference again real quick? I have no part in this conversation, but I allow it. <laughs> um, <laughs> fantastic. Sure, Jenna. Awesome podcast name. Yes, it is. Twisted Tendrils. Fantastic. Matthew says, I run a video slash tabletop game convention. Ooh, that occasionally has writers as vendors in Effingham, Illinois. Ooh. Um, yes. Uh, let us know what the website is. Just from, just try. And um, instead of the normal, like, dot com, you may have to put parentheses and spell out dot um, so that it does not get caught by... Um, by the automated filters. So Heather says, by the way, I will be part of the AuthorTube Writing Conference hosting a panel of freelance editors for a Q&A session. Um, you should really create something for Instagram about it. Yes, probably. Okay, so Kit uh, does publish um, under the name Kit Falbo on Instagram, so, or not on, on Amazon. Where did that come from? On Amazon, you can find Kit Falbo. There we go. Um, Jenna says, thank you for doing that. Yes. Um, okay. Do you do do do. Let's switch this. Um, do do do. Where did my, where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Pull this off to the side so I can see it. All right, we're going to take the next sprint and it's going to take us right up to the top of the hour. We'll go back and use the sunset timer. All right, one, save your document. Okay, here we go. Uh, tabletop.events 
so forward slash conventions forward slash Effingcon Effing 2022. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, one, save your document. Two, make sure you have something to hydrate with. Cheers. Three, straighten your spine, roll your shoulders back for that posture check. And four, make sure that if you need a break, take a break. Here we go. 25 minutes in five, four, three, two, one, go.
All right, that was the third sprint. Um, so I didn't do quite as well uh, that time. I, I'm at like 2,800. Um, so only got about 800 that time. Um, so, but that was still a fantastic, fantastic um, session for me. Lots, lots of good words. Lots of very good words. I'm going to save it though. Um, all right. Uh, how'd y'all do? Uh, either for that sprint or for the session as a whole. Um, how did you do? I hope you made some progress. Um, hopefully it was a very good and productive session for you as well. Um, Heather finally got into your um, HB90 boot camp through Teachable. Um, clicked on the buttons and you just got into Teachable. There it is. Woo. Then you clicked through to the Facebook group from there and you were there. Interesting. Um, my best guess is that you might have accidentally switched to your uh, Patet family email um, rather than your Heather account. Um, that would be my best guess. Uh, Padgett says, has anyone used Vellum? If you have one paragraph that starts five spaces in, for example, and the next one eight spaces in, does, oh, oh, I thought you meant the actual paper vellum. Um, does vellum fix this for you? I do not know about that. Because the paper, the actual paper vellum definitely will not. <laughs> um, it definitely will not. Uh, Miriam is making good progress. You think you managed to reset your heroines um, GMC into something that you will actually be able to write a novel with. Mm. There you go. Um, Elizabeth says, did some more, but productivity is waning. Um, the fixed time on your live stream, though, and fixed the time on your live stream and planned a little bit of the week. Excellent. Good. Um, Jenna says, because this is, this is your last week of school. Your last last week or last full week of school. Um, so yeah, got to plan that last bit. Um, Jenna says 306 words this sprint, 941 for the last. You didn't hear the timer off. Well, you know, you got to, you got some more words. So that's good. Um, Rachel got eight pages. Life got in the way. So you're going to need to take a break. That's fine. You have managed to do quite a lot. I think that takes you up to 30, if I'm not mistaken. So that means you only have 20 to go. That's awesome. Um, Rachel got a love admin handle and even got 872 words done. Nice. Um, CB, 15 words that time because you had social media stuff to do. And 884 for the stream. Nice. Uh, it's all the same email. Oh, weird then. I don't know. That's, that's very odd. Um, Kit got 230 words. You've just been slow that week. Sometimes that is what happens because um, I rarely ever get quite as many words as I get today. And sometimes I get only a couple hundred words for a sprint. Um, so it is fine. All we can do is celebrate the progress and try again. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I have... I felt pleased with it today, so I appreciate it. Uh, Jenna says, bounce back to the author to writing conference tasks. Uh, so far behind on getting other things done. I think that's probably what happens when you try and run a conference, <laughs> um, is that it, it consumes all of your time. Uh, Patrick says, I just realized I have to fix many indentations of paragraphs that aren't quite right. And all I want to do is finish. But you know what? Some days you get the bear and some days the bear gets you. Um, so I'm assuming because of your question, you are working in a program called Vellum. Um, what I would do is look up tutorials <laughs> on how to quickly fix multiple paragraph indentations at the same time. That would be my go-to. 
is see if anybody else has tips on how to do it. <laughs> so Paige says also, yes, the highlighter food is fantastic. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, all right, y'all, let me share Devin's playlist. Um, I have scheduled the streams for the next two weeks. Um, so those are already scheduled and so you can set reminders for those if you like. Um, here is Devin's playlist. Don't forget to, um, check out Devin and, um, all of the other fellow sprinters and see if, um, just make sure you follow everybody, support everybody, all that kind of stuff. Um, and also save your document, <laughs> save your document. Uh, and I will be back Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one to 3 PM and Sundays two to 5 PM Eastern, all Eastern. So, all right. Thanks and have a good time. Bye.